Hello everybody, Sifri again with another Inscription Cases mod run. And um, let's let's play the Bone deck today. Although I still believe this is the better Bone deck, as you can just sacrifice the Goat onto the Goat Lord and whatever. But let's let's go with the quote-unquote Bone deck of the game. Let's run to this. Let's see how this will go. I'm most likely gonna go back to modded. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Not exactly sure. I think I'm gonna go back to modded tomorrow, but I'm gonna see what mod I'm gonna play exactly. For now, let's just do a bone deck here, and uh, let's hope that tomorrow the game doesn't officially launch, because if it does, I'm gonna try to do the old challenges run. The moment Casey's mod drops. Why did I stand up? <laughs> used, from the, used from the mods, where you have to pick up the bones there in the beginning. Let's see what we can get. I can get the ringworm right away on the flame. First of all, Cuckoo is definitely happening. And then the ringworm, the flame. That would be like a good choice for now. Or I could go raccoon to go even deeper into this whole uh, bone chasing thing. The like carbon sigil is on the board. The poison creatures also provide bones. Uh, Cuckoo is definitely happening. Yeah, let's go with the ringworm. Let's try to get a flame run going. Yeah, I see no flame yet, but there is a flame over there. Uh, I could go for sacrifice. Transfer the dead wolf pop on the cuckoo. Uh, the reason I'm tr thinking about this transfer here is because uh, this Bone Digger Sigil is going to get removed if this flips. While if I put it on the Cook, it's not never going to get removed, so I will be able to permanently gain bones. Same goes with Raccoon, though. I could transfer the Raccoon to the Cuckoo too. I mean, I can transfer the Cuckoo to the Raccoon too. <laughs> I can transfer the Cuckoo to the Wolf Pop, actually. So when this evolves, it will still have the egg in front of it. Because it's going to become a flyer. If I transfer the Cuckoo into anything, it's going to make it a flyer. Actually sounds like a stupid idea transferring the cuckoo on the wolf pup, but uh is it? Ah let's YOLO it. Let's YOLO. Let's let's put the let's put the um, the cuckoo on the wolf pup. Why not? Let's try to see if the decks themselves are good. Like if if keeping the deck as is and transferring sigils onto it to make it stronger actually works. Most of the time I would say no, but why not experiment, man? The the worst that could happen is I could lose. Like who cares? It's it isn't even something important. Let's go. But see, if you're supposed to never lose. Obviously not. I don't think anybody says that. Let's go here. Pass. Now we take a hit. I don't have enough sacrifice outlets. And uh, yeah, I don't have enough sacrifice outlets. Okay, the next flying ant's definitely not gonna join here. Uh, we're borderline surviving. Go here. Nice, we were liking that. And this is dead. So we will do two damage and take one. And now we win. And this is literally the first fight I'm fighting. So literally the first fight I'm fighting is flo four flying ants. This doesn't feel fair. I mean, we did beat it, okay. But four flying ants and one of them being literally impossible to somehow hit. I mean, if I had the Mantis God Dug, I would destroy everything. But still, but still. Pretty dangerous fight there. Let's continue towards the right. I would avoid this anyway. I like the Mantis. I can transfer it on the Coyote. Kingfisher could also get transferred on the Coyote. Both of them are decent. I would like if I could have had the Mantis on the Direwolf. Now that obviously the evolution happened. But uh, I can't obviously. So let's go. I, th I think Mantis on the Coyote is better. Yeah, I think like having a double attack Coyote is better. Go flame. If I transfer it, I might not even transfer it. Life. Let's try to flame this. Do not become a 0-5. You had one job. You literally had one job. We're gonna go to the second flame to burn it out. Let's see what we can get here. A bullfrog. Hmm. Pretty much nothing. Let's go with Mantis for double attacks. Now, if it happens that you play something here, yeah, who would have thought? Now we're gonna go for the sacrifice, as this is not gonna be there in time. Broken egg to also block in the, the unit itself. Oh no, another bullfrog. Who cares? Now we can do 5 damage and win. I mean, we were winning with 4 damage anyway, but still, 5 damage it is what it is. So, um, I start slowly getting burned out of inscription. 
Uh, on the other hand, though, most of the people watching ins our inscription, like most of the people watching this channel are inscription viewers. So uh, I don't want to really commit career suicide here for no reason. You know what? If this becomes like a 2 5, then it stays in the deck. Okay, it's out. <laughs> Got him. It's out. We get the bones, which is useful for us. And a double sack. So one is going to be the mantis on the this thing. And the other is going to be the raccoon on the coyote. <laughs> this is so stupid. I'm going to most likely pick something up there for the sacrifice. The mantis on the, on the hand is most likely going to happen. Let's go here to avoid this completely. Like, avoid this kink completely. Unless he's going to play something to kill the mantis. Like he always does. He always does this, man. <laughs> Let's go here. Nice. Uh, I would say let's keep this alive. So I have the sacrifice outlet. Yep. And here I would hope. Uh, not a nice a broken egg. Very nice. I could have blamed the. Yeah, I could have also played the bone unit, obviously, which I didn't realize. Let's go here. Mm, yeah, we're still doing some lethal damage. Next turn, we're winning. With six. Zero damage. Let's go, Tentacle Hand. It just exists. Yeah, as I said, I'm slowly getting burned out of Inscription, but uh, I... I mean... It's not like I hate the game or anything. It's just that I would like to try to play some more things, but I also don't want to, you know, commit career suicide, so we're gonna stick to this for, I guess, a month or two more. But when Peglin comes along, and maybe one other big game that people watch and love... Yeah, description's gonna get kicked. But until that happens, we might be a bit further away from now. Uh, I'm thinking about Corpse Maggots. I can transfer the Corpse Maggots on the Coyote. So instead of being a 1-2, it's a 2-1. Then the whole bone idea is already flying out the window, This is the way this is going. First of all, I think I'm gonna transfer the Mantis on the Tentacle Hand. As this, if it's in your starting hand, it's like a 2-1. So you can right away get a 2-1. And if it doesn't die, next turn it's a 3-1 which should instantly do like 3 damage to 2 sides. And the other sacrifice... I guess I could also put the Kingfisher on it and just pass all the time. It will do like 2 damage first turn, 3 damage second turn, 4, 5, 6. It's gonna be a scaling thing and I just leave it work on its own. Corpse Maggots though, being a free unit in the Coyote. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Mats on the, on the Tentacle and uh, Corpse Maggots on the Coyote. In general, right now, I'm forced to pick two cards, by the way. Like, I'm forced to do double sacrifices. Otherwise, I can get Kingfisher and put Kingfisher on this thing and Mantis on this. Or Kingfisher on this and Mantis on this. In general, like, all the choices are bad. But um, uh, let's go for the easier choice. Uh, let's go for the straight-up <laughs> free unit. Yep. Mantis on the tentacle hand. It's not like I'm doing the best choices here, in my opinion, but not because of the cards I I mean, with the cards I have, I'm trying to do the best choices, but uh, in general, like, those would not be choices. If I had, like, access to all the cards in the game instantly, those would not be the choices I would do. Now imagine if we get Nora Yuli now next. There is a chance we're gonna get Nora Yuli here, and I just threw away my Corpse Maggots. I gotta see. I didn't even want to take that. Okay, we got rid of the Fisher right away. That's nice. I hope we're not gonna have the Prospector as well, last boss. I think, like, the Prospector is one of the harder bosses if it's the last one. Here we got instant lethal, by the way. Boom. Three damage. Exactly. In boss fights, this thing is gonna be all me. Not always. Yeah, not always. In boss fights, this is just gonna be an instant lethal. In boss fights? Wait a minute. Definitely knock on... Yeah, actually, in the on the Prospector boss fight, yes. On the... The other boss, the boss fight, the, the the trapper, whatever he's called, definitely no. There's not gonna be an instant lethal there. Let's continue gaining things. I would like to get an easy rock here. We did find the Rayuli, <laughs> which is really bad, obviously, now that they did the transfer. I should have put the raccoon on the tentacles and the sideways attack to the coyote and then predict the Rayuli somehow. Let's go strange larva, I would say. Let's go strange larva. I don't want a pelt blast deck. Actually, I could take the Peltlice for the double strike. Transfer it on the Raccoon. Let's just get the let's just get the Larva. Larva is always a good choice. It's uh it might uh, it might lead you to death turn one, but if you don't die turn one, then it's gonna be an insane card. 
Yeah, I got another tentacle hand. That's actually good. Because if I get another tentacle hand and combine them, like if I put another sigil on this thing and then combine them later, what sigil could I put on this though? Maybe mortality? Like we got a bunch of choices. Let's get another tentacle hand. Uh, I would say let's go painting and let's paint the coyote. And if it maintains its sigil, it's going to be really good. Although on the other hand, if it loses attack, it's going to be trash. It's, it's still going to be a free unit. I mean, this, this is a pack rat. We avoid the pack rat. I don't even know why I'm thinking about this. So what we can do? Uh, I guess coyote. Yeah, I mean, coyote was the plan. Otherwise, I can go to that wolf pup. Like, this is a really good card. Yeah, let's go Dire Wolf Pup and then I'm gonna combine them. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. Let's go Dire Wolf Pup. And then later down the road we can combine them no matter what he does to the left one. He changed it into Evolves. Are, are, no, you, no. You, you did nothing. You, you literally just got the Sigil from here and put it over there. And removed the Flying. Well, doesn't matter because these are gonna get combined. So this is a trash card now. <laughs> from the one Sigil he chose to... Do you realize how bad this is? Like, he chose to remove one sigil, which is the flyer, which is fair enough. And then he chose to put the one sigil that the card already had on it. So he just removed the flyer pretty much. <laughs> I, I have never seen this happen. Although, it's not like I've gone to this event like a thousand times. Let's see where to go. Mm. I mean, I can straight up go to the left. Or I can just start spamming an attacks with this thing. Let's go with Strange Larva to the left. And try to avoid anything coming in. Okay, we're lucky. Although luck doesn't really have to do anything with this. Uh, this can do one damage. It can kill the wolf cub and do one damage. So we're gonna go here. Plus one. And then the opossum is gonna kill my... Kill it. Next turn we win with a seven damage attacker. As simple as that. Do one. Take three. It's too late. You are doing one, two, three, four, five, six damage per turn. I'm doing seven damage per turn. So, I'm winning next turn. And that wolf cup's never gonna come in. Actually, it is. Uh oh. Panic. Dar wolf pop. That's not good. Uh, we're gonna play the tentacle hand to kill the possum here. So we disconnect the damage. Nice, we do another 7. This will get hit for 1, but it doesn't matter. As this is gonna do 2 plus 7 is 9. And 9 is always lethal in this game. So, easy enough. Now, about the burn that I was mentioning. Uh, it's not... You know, honestly speaking, it's... It's it's something very specific that uh, causes the burnout to happen. It's that Casey's mod is a bit the same all the time, although I want to wait for it to get released. You know, I'm going to also play it on release. By the way, I want to win here because I enjoy getting, like, nice cards from this thing. Uh, health is definitely a loss. Canines might be a win. Bones is also a definite loss. So, uh, the main... Canine, canine, we got it. The main problem for the burnout is twofold. First of all, Poisonous Cat and Poisonous Skunk, the best sigils around, man. And, and... What a trend. Cat that tries to suicide, Skunk that has infinite circle. I mean, this is decent, but poison is trash. An adder that gives you an item and also cannot die from poison or stuff. Wow. <laughs> okay, I mean, even double sigils is not saving this event. That's how bad this is. Um, I, I guess it's... It's... It, it's... Uh, it's a pack rat. It's a pack rat, but instead of being a 2-2, it's a 1-1 one, one and cannot die from poisonous, although that's lit literally irrelevant. This is an irrelevant sigil. And these are also relevant sigils. Like, how, how bad could this be? Let's go with the skunk. At least it can block something in and has infinite sacrifices. At least. At least. I would say we go flame. Although combining the two wolf pups is also important. Make the deck smaller. If the flame is damage, I can put the skunk on it. If the flame is life, I can put this thing on it. Yeah, I think those are the choices. Uh, what is this? Can I see this one? I think this is like remove. I think this is remove a card. Yeah, we're gonna go for remove the card. So let's go this path. I th yeah, it's remove the card. Nice. Because I want to start with a bone. Although I don't think I really need the bone. Anyway, you got combined. So now you got 
flying back. And also, you're on, it's a 2-2 and it will evolve into a 3-5. 3-6, actually. Yeah, about the burnout. So, um, this game, I mean, yeah, it's inscription. I've played this so much that I don't even know what to do with it. Although, as I said, I don't want to commit career suicide. So, I will continue playing this. Should I play? I should just play the Coyote and be done with this thing. Yeah, let's go here. To this. Play the Coyote too. Now we do do damage, we take three. Next turn we do nothing, we take two. And we win. Um, yeah, the game itself, not a problem. The, the main game, I've played it so often that it slowly becomes, you know, the same and the same. But the main problem is that although I like mods, the modding community does not seem to like me. Or at least the prominent modding people of the modding community do not seem to like me. So... It's, it's not fun, man. If, if you're trying to build up a community and, like, the bid modders uh, seem to have a problem with you, yeah, it's it's really tiring. And honestly, I, sometimes I'm, I'm feeling like, you know what? I would prefer the community to die off by not playing the game at all. I mean, it might not die off, obviously, because most likely big YouTubers are also going to play this at some point. So the modern community, I don't think, will die off anymore. But it's really... It feels so bad that uh, I'm trying to help out. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm playing the mods and I like the whole game. By the way, I think I'm going to throw Raccoon out. At this point, I don't even care about one creation. I like the Raven Egg as always. So let's throw the Raccoon out. And uh, yeah, like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be calling people out. But uh, whenever I go over there and want, try to see what people talk about me, it's, it's always negative stuff. So... I don't know. It's tiring. It's tiring. And honestly, I really don't have any... Um, what is it called? Any reason to try to pander to them, like, um, I can just stop playing completely and that would be that. Uh, I want to kill off the wolf pup, so... I will play the skunk on the left, so it keeps the blocking in, and then I'm gonna play Raven Egg for free, and I'm gonna keep this for the next round. So we're gonna go here, I'm gonna go here, this lane is completely blocked in, and we're gonna go here. And I'm gonna play the, this thing next round, while I will have a card in hand, so that I can kill the dire wolf pup for free. So we take one, and that's it pretty much. And everything is blocked in, by the way. This lane is blocked in, this lane is blocked in, this lane is blocked in. Only the wolf pup exists. So if I get rid of the wolf pup, we pretty much won. So let's do that. Done. And now even if this lane, yeah, if, uh, uh, that was exactly what I was about to say. Even if something tries to join that lane, it will be too slow for us because we will do 4 damage next turn anyway. Let's go with double flames, obviously, as I do have buffed flames. We found the cockroach, which is really good for the strange larva. So let's go cockroach. Obviously, I want the sacrifice. Do I have something to combine? I could combine these two. I would like to put the cockroach on this, actually, not the larva. But the thing is that, yeah, you see there is a problem. This is not in the right order. So I would say we go ahead and combine these two. As I don't really want to be drawing this, honestly speaking. I mean, in this last turn, it was good that I draw it, but... Hmm... I could also go Flames and then Sacrifice and not leave these to exist. And the Flames are going to be put on the Raven if it's damage. Uh, actually, it should be on the Skunk if it's damage. still like the Raven I have damage though. Anyway, let's go Flame and see what we get. It's most likely going to be life as always. Who would have thought? Okay, because it's life, I'm going to put on this. Yeah, because it's life, I'm going to put on this. So this is going to become a whatever 5. Now we're going to go for the Sacrifice. As I want to make this immortal. I could also make the... Should I make the strange larva immortal? It's always like a thought. It's always a thought. Strange larva being immortal means that it will definitely evolve into a 7-3 at some point. And then even if it dies, it's still a 7-3 forever. I can just play... I draw a squirrel, play this thing again. It's a 7-3. It dies, I play a squirrel, I play this again. It always maintains its one cost. Yeah, let's do that. My opinion, it's better. Continue. And yeah, I mean uh, that—that's the thing. It's—it's. It, it's, I really feel like I'm—I'm I'm really contributing to the. I mean, am I? I, I don't want to like. I really feel like when I'm talking, I sound like as if I'm. Um, I don't know, flexing myself or whatnot. But the thing is, like, on the one hand, I feel like. I am part of the community, like the modern community. On the other hand, I feel like they're against me because for whatever reason, they decided that they're against me. 
And I don't want to be part of this thing. Uh, I really don't want to be playing things from people that actually are like, yo, Sift is not good at gaming, or Sift uh, doesn't like hard games, or Sift does this, Sift does that, Sift is this, Sift is that. Yeah, it, it's it's really tiring, and um, I, I, I don't have any reason whatsoever to, um, to pander to that crowd, like, at all. So, yeah, we won, by the way, here. That's why I drew a scroll. So, yeah, there's that. A bit of negative Sift today, I guess, for everybody watching. I'm pretty sure the comments are going to be like, yo, Sift, if you don't want to play this, then don't play it. But it doesn't really work like that. <laughs> it, uh, honestly speaking, it doesn't really work like that. Let's get Roboros. Oh, Sift or Roboros again. I don't care. Let's get Roboros. Let's go. Imagine if it's not Roboros and it's actually Yuji Rock, which I didn't read. Although I didn't see him glow up. I think it was Roboros. The real Roboros. Yep. Um, we could go here and whatever it is, we just trash it. As simple as that. And at the end of the day, I just trash the Raven Egg. I know that they said I like it, but it, it's not something insane. I would say we go here, 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 and then over here to sacrifice and transfer the Roboros onto this thing. Try to combine these two. The Raven Egg is most likely going to be gone, especially if this is something good. Okay, nothing good here. Let's reroll. I mean, <laughs> nothing good still. Uh, I could go for the Dulki Vulture. Dulki Vulture. Uh, should I though? I mean, it's not like I have any bone generation. This thing will just give us one bone. Yeah, we don't really have any bone generation. This is complete trash. This is mech. Uh, let's go for the Dulki Vulture. Especially now that it's fixed and we no longer draw trash cards. And uh, then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna try to trash the <laughs> we're gonna trash the vulture out right away. But Sift, you're supposed to be the bone deck. No, not with not without a goat. You don't get a goat, you're not a bone deck. Let's go this path. And as I said, sacrifice the Roboros. So that we get an infinite tentacle hand. Roboros is here. Uh this is not a good board for us at all. I would say I play the Raven Egg on the very left, so until this Wild Bull comes along, I will have set up. Otherwise, I can just play the Tentacle Hand here because it has 5 life. Yeah, let's just play the Tentacle Hand here. And this is uh, 2 damage now, and then another 4 damage next, uh, 6 damage next turn. The Porcupine is not gonna even get hit because this is gonna flip here. Ah. Just draw a card and not do anything. This is dead, backline damage the Porcupine. Not really that good that we backline damage the Porcupine. You know, I can avoid backline damaging the porcupine. Let's just do that. Avoid the backline porcupine. Yeah, I'm stupid. Why did I do this? Well, it doesn't matter. We do for damage. Well, we still don't win. This survives, though. Uh, well, if we don't play anything, then uh, this uh, the red heart won't have damage exactly. He's flipped now. And now we do win. Because this is going to do two damage in the air. And we only do need to do 2 damage anyway. We got a free opossum though. Yeah, I didn't play this correctly, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you control the match, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes. I don't want to go to the left anymore. <laughs> no. Okay, sigils for a win. Yeah, let's go sigils to win, because why not? Yeah, I mean that's that's what I want to say. It's not like I have I it's not like I have any feelings of hate or anything. It's just it's just down putting, you know. It just put me down. That, that's the thing. Um I guess Sparrow for the skill transfer. Yeah, let's go Sparrow for an intermediary sacrifice. Let's go this path. Mm, yeah, I sacrifice the 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 I sacrifice rewards on this thing, and then over here try, I I combine them. Yeah, that's that's good. I I see the flames, but I wanna I wanna make my deck smaller, as small as possible, if possible. As small as possible, if possible. Words to live by. Let's continue. So yeah, that's it. That's it pretty much. And by the way, it's not the negativity itself. Like, uh, I'm reading the comments and I'm, I'm seeing negative things. Like, the, the negativity itself is not what uh, is the problem. I mean, like, I, I really don't care about the negativity of things. People can talk about uh, me however they want. They can trash talk me. They can do whatever they want. Uh, the thing that I hate is the fact that it's the community that <laughs> I'm part of that is trash talking me. That's my problem. That I'm playing modded inscription and the main, like, big modders talk trash about me. And I, I'm really tired specifically hearing the phrase, it's for fun, it's sarcastic. Uh, do you really want me to point out that it's sarcastic when I'm actually making fun? Yeah, no. Honestly, no. 
Uh, let's see where we go. Um, M, M, M. <laughs> let's... I guess we play the Sparrow for one turn. And then just play the Dark Wolf Pup. And its double attacks are gonna kill us. This is like 6 damage per turn. This is gonna be 7, 8 damage per turn. So as long as we just get the damage off, we win. I mean, I can just draw the Squirrel and be done with this. But do I need to? I take 1 damage now. I do 1, I take 1. Next turn, I do... Three, and I take five. I'm still alive. And then after that, the game is locked. Like, these units are not going to change, and we're going to just be taking six. And this is a fly blocker, so I just realized we have a problem here. Why is this a fly blocker? This happens, like, once every thousand years, and it just happened to roll over there. I can't even play the, the egg thing. Huh. Yeah, let's go for lethal right away. Let's go for lethal right away. Lock this in. And we won. This is no longer losable, obviously. Now you come in. We do for damage right away. I was trying to calculate how we could have won. And it wasn't looking well. But yeah, I know. I know. People have better math than me sometimes. Let's also spend this. In case we go for an item later. Oh, oh, easy win. That's why items are there anyway. To win quickly. Up, lights out. Let's hope we get a free item. Nope, I don't see us getting items. Although after this, we're going to have two events. So there is a hope. There is hope. There's going to be a dagger here. Up, I want to buy anything. No, the just, just the force pelt and the knife. And uh, I'm okay with that. Sif, why do you never buy pelts? Because I don't want to trash my deck and I never know if I'm going to get the shop. Duplicates. Yes, create the super card that I wanted. Now it's gonna be an attack six. You know, it's like somebody you don't know trash talks you. Who cares? Somebody who is a, who you think is in the same boat with you trash talks you. Well, yeah, I guess I'm not a friend with you anymore. Uh, we were never friends anyway. Let's go with Sparrow attacks here for a round or two until I draw a better card. And in the meantime, Rabbit Pelt instantly shows the world that, you know, it's trash. Yodi's here. Nice. Um, yeah, I mean, we just play this thing and win. Over here is a safe spot for sure. Because this thing is going to start going slowly towards the right. And until that happens, I will once again do 4 damage. What are the chances that I literally drew the same hand? I literally drew the same hand, plus... Plus... Um, uh, what is this called? Plus the pelt. So, it doesn't feel random, man. I literally drew the same hand. Cuckoo is always good. Let's continue. Flame coming up, plus the transfer. Most likely gonna transfer the Cuckoo to something. So, let's see. No, I'm gonna transfer Raven and the Cuckoo. Because it's instantly gonna pop the, the egg. And then next turn it's gonna be a 2-3. While the Raven Egg will instantly pop the egg and not do one damage right away. So it's it's only these two are the same, right? If I if this evolves, it evolves into a 2-3, Elder Cuckoo. And this evolves into a 2-3. Um, what is it called? Raven. So obviously it's better to start with a 1-1 base instead of starting with a 0-2 base. Let's go with Health Buff on. I would switch Lange Larva to just make it not die. Sparrow would be nice to transfer something else, but I don't think, like, the only part that I care about the Sparrow is the attack part. So, let's make Strange Larva not die. I know it's immortal, but the thing is that I also need it to evolve. But Sift, if you give it life, it's not immortal anymore. Nope, that's not the same thing. Let's go with Raven Egg on Cuckoo. Very nice. So now all of my cards have some kind of evolution or power level or whatever. Now here, obviously, in my starting hand, I will have a Pelt. But the thing is, it's literally the only fight that the pelt in the hand doesn't matter. We were lucky, by the way, that the Prospector was the second fight. Like I said, I think hardest third fight is Prospector. And easiest third fight is this guy, because he's literally how he is in the normal game. So it's, it's literally you're playing the normal fight. Uh, I would say we play the Cuckoo and the Strange Larva. Yeah, simple as that. Just do this and do this. We go here. We go here. 
It, it, it's not a problem. We're gonna do one and take four. Uh, you know what? Also play the coyote. So we're gonna do... Yeah, th th these two are balanced out. This is gonna come back to hand at some point, and then I'm gonna just replay it. So let's play this here too, so that I start getting the pelts I need. Nice, we take three. Okay, we do two. Here, oh, here we got a problem. Damage is coming in. Oh no. Can I sacrifice this? Nice. Uh, you know what? This is actually a really good pull. This has six life, so it's gonna buy me enough time to, to not die. So you're gonna go away because I don't want this to happen. You're gonna go here. Because you have six life and you can just tank the hits. Yeah, pass. And it's immortal anyway, so I'm, I can play it again. I'm gonna be drawing the squirrels. This will die. Oh, very nice. Got a wolf pulled out of that. Uh, that, that dog doesn't matter. Now, I can play the Mothman whenever I want to instantly win. So this is gonna do 4 damage and kill the Raven. The Cuckoo is in a dangerous spot right now because this thing is a fly blocker. So I want to get like lethal on the spot. So let's just play the Mothman. This thing is gonna lose to attack, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, the, the only thing that doesn't have to matter, it doesn't have to happen, is that he does not have to have two things. A fly blocker on the very right side and a mole man, specifically a mole man. Or a mole effect with a fly blocker attached to it. And I can draw two cards. So as long as the right side doesn't have a fly blocker on its own, we instantly win anyway. We won. It's over. Because this thing... I, I will leave the wolf here so that the mothman just attacks above it. Uh, and the thing is that the wolf is even gonna try to suicide on the left anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, this attacks sideways. So we're gonna go one, two, done. Now all of them can attack easily. This does this attacks and this also attacks. Boop, 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 easy win. You know, it's just all about controlling the match. It's all about controlling the match. And let's go on. By the way, I'm pretty sure this video is gonna get linked over there at the mother community. Oh, bro, people, Sift is talking about us. And then they're gonna trash talk me even more. <laughs> that happens when you give power to trolls and stuff. Let's go with... But Sift, if you knew that that happens, then why did you do it? Because I'm talking... Be because I... Let's go with Amalgam, by the way. Like, Uroboros is too weak at this point. Dios, I hate him. And it's not really a good card anyway right now. So let's go with Amalgam. Yeah, because when I have something that I'm thinking about, I'm telling you guys. And, uh... Yeah, I, li I like... I like that the... I, I, I like to tell the community what is happening. Okay. Oh, I should have gone items. No, I should have gone items. That was a big mistake. I should have definitely gone items there. I just uh, went here to remove the rabbit pelt from the deck. Like, who cares about the rabbit pelt in the deck? This was definitely a mistake. Uh, let's go Beehive. Because a lot of units in this final fight do just one damage. Let's go Possum. Straight up a free unit. Yeah, let's go Possum. It's a free unit. Because I, ha I started with two bones. And the other card is like a free unit anyway. So I got the knife to protect us. But if I don't draw some of my good cards, but I allow it. No problems. Yo ho ho, is it time again? Another go, yo ho ho, against the Pond the Seas. Man, the cannons me herders. As you see, I'm not even giving any... There, there is no voice acting, there is no nothing. So, I think the first thing I want to do is attack this lane, so that the skeleton there doesn't join. I don't know why there is this light thing happening. I'm thinking about Skunk on the very right, making this lane be completely blocked off, as uh, this is gonna make this have zero attack, and then we can just delay the... I guess I would say inevitable, but the inevitability is not a thing. Actually, I plus just play the wolf pup and we win. Yeah, we play the wolf pup and we win. It's as simple as that, as long as it doesn't die in one hit. Because this thing is not gonna be able to block it. As it will have in front of it a thing. My, man, the, this sigil here is the best sigil in the game. Because it just removes every aspect of gameplay from Leshy's side. You're just like, okay, it's gonna be forever be either an egg or a raven. So I don't care what you do. Let's uh, let's begin. We go here. We go here. This is blocked in. We go here. We go hobbity poppity. Here. Broken egg, very nice. And I don't even need to play the coyote. If something goes wrong, it's gonna play itself anyway. 
And um, yeah, that's it pretty much. The reason I don't need to play the Coyote is because obviously the Wallman is going to block it and then also kill it next turn. Damage right now. Don't target this spot. This is the only thing I will ask for you. Yes, and we won. As simple as that. It, it's, it's a win because this does 3 and 3. Boom, boom. It's a win. Now he replaces the board and also shoots the cannons. Yar. Okay, we got the field mice. Pretty useless. Blast me ship is full of rodents. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it's not a win because the mole man actually does survive the double hit. Uh, but it does not survive a poisonous hit. Haha! <laughs> I'm gonna play the poisonous here and the mole man's gonna go and block it and die. Calculated. And we got the super thing too. Um, yeah, I mean, let's go for the win I just mentioned. Go with poisonous over here. And I can literally pass as this is gonna poison kill that thing. Whoop, dead. And six damage win. Easy enough. Well, boy, the oranges have <laughs> almost bested me, but I've got you one less trick. I don't know what to do, what to say over here. I, I guess I should say some random things, <laughs> like my thoughts and stuff when this is happening. Enough of that. Okay, we continue with the real cards, as I still have sacrifice in my hand. Now, if anything that Oh, he gave me an opossum. Now, if anything dies, the coyote is gonna join. Uh, the skunk is gonna die in a moment. I can play this, actually. Yeah, why would I not play this right away? Yep, that's that's a decent choice. Sparrow's gonna die there. Actually, I should have transferred this over this. Can, can Do I have a sacrifice? I can play the field mice. Kill off the sparrow, but then I won't be able... Yeah, I can play the field mice here and here. No. Here and here? I made a mistake. We lost these stats for no reason. I could eat them up on the field mice, actually. Yeah, let's eat the stats up on the field mice, as this thing is gonna now attack for one and then get hit by two and die. It's better to attack for three and even survive after that, so it can attack for three next turn too. I obviously should have transferred the stats on this thing, but I didn't think about it at that moment. Yeah, let's go. Boop. Three, three, five, five. I would take some hits. Uh, I need some real cards. Cuckoo, not really that good. Go. Boop. 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 Power. Fire. And that's free. Try an unreal card. Pass. Boop. 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 Fire. 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 Yep. I draw a real card. Nice. We got the larva. So we go here. Into this. Which is a 6-6. Six, six. And uh, I could pass. So that it becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven, and an 8-8. Eight, eight, and an actually just do that. <laughs> Actually, just do that. I could pass. No, I'm just gonna pass. Yar? 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 I could set up a board. Yeah, let's set up a board. Just for the photo shoot, you know. Just for the photo shoot. I like how I'm calling it photo shoot. Uh, let's go here. Let's also play this. It will die no matter what it is. Let's also play this. And yeah, that's it pretty much. We, we got barely lethal, by the way. We didn't even get lethal. <laughs> we didn't even get lethal. Easy win. <laughs> and Avasti. Exactly. Avasti indeed. Farewell. Daniel Moons. Yep. Let's get rid of the, and the credits here. I'm spamming escape, by the way. They said that they made it so that you can press escape on the credits. But the fun thing is... That uh, you can only do this... Oh no, you can't. You can only do this after after Daniel Mullins and two or three other people, you know, get their credits. And then you can cancel the credits. It's like, we allow you to end the credits, but we're also not actually going to allow you to get in the credits. Like, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the score screen. Boss defeated three, who'd have thought? Have I ever not seen three there? I guess sometimes I have never seen three. And yeah, that's it. Uh, once again, thanks for the Patreon support, that's really important, and uh, it's really helping, and if you want to help me without, you know, become Patreon, just drop a like, it's the simplest thing that you can do that helps out the channel. 
and the algorithm, etc. And if you want to mention anything uh, or, you know, tell me anything about the things I just mentioned, you can just comment below about them, about the things I talked about. Once again, there is no real hate happening here. It's just more of a disappointment, you know. It's um, it, it's not like, oh, they're talking trash about me. Oh, no. Uh, like, uh, people are talking trash about me anyway. I, I don't care about that. I'm really... I don't really care. But it, it's more like... The community that you're a part of is trash talking you and nobody's doing anything about it. I mean, I'm talking about the mods, but I mean, obviously the mods can allow, depending on the channel, like obviously the mods should not, um, what is it called? Um, should not, uh, delete or block comments that are negative, right? I I'm definitely not against that. Uh, the thing is... Actually, yeah, why did I mention the mods? Like, mods, mods, mods don't matter at this specific point. I have read some things that maybe should have modded. Uh, although, uh, if I was gonna talk about it the moment I read them, they would obviously tell me that it's a joke, yo, bro, it's a joke, man, it's a joke. But uh, at this point, like, every time I'm watching something over at the modding community, it's, like, always negative. I mean, at this point, I don't even expect anything positive, right? I just expect nothing. I prefer literally nothing, Okay. Like, I prefer if they just didn't talk about me, but uh, it is what it is, man. And the thing is that I think the best way for me to achieve them not talking about me is just not being part of the modern community. And um, although I don't want to do it because I really feel like it's career suicide, it's also something that doesn't feel nice. And uh, yeah, I don't like not feeling nice. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. I can disagree with you all time of the day. But if I just see you trash talk me for no apparent reason, then uh, I, there is nothing to disagree with, right? <laughs> if you tell me uh, Sif thinks that it's too hard but in reality it's not too hard because you can do this and this and this then I can obviously disagree with you but if you tell Yo Sif you're trash at playing games while I'm playing your mod what? okay I'm not gonna play your mod <laughs> it's on you and obviously and obviously like the, the, the instant the instant reaction to that would be yo I don't need you obviously they don't need me of course they don't need me but it feels bad, man. And uh, that's burning me out. That is actually burning me out. <laughs> Nothing else does. Like, playing the game doesn't. I, I know the community. I'm watching the comments. I mean, everybody's all the time, like, positive, negative, doesn't matter. Like, I see people reacting. I see people talking. I see people joining the Discord. So I know that there is audience there. It's not like only those guys, people, girls. I don't know. I don't care, honestly. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. I just wanted to mention that. Um... At the end of the day, it isn't gonna affect anything for the close future, like for a week or two, or a month or two, or I don't know. Uh, but uh, when when a big thing comes out, if, if for example, Peglin comes out, because I know a bunch of people want to wait for Peglin to come out, and maybe another thing comes out, like Snake or Rex or something, oh man, inscription is gone. Like, at the moment something appears that has to do with what I'm good at, or has to do with what people that care about this channel, like, watch... Inscription is gone, man. And I'm sorry for the people that do actually love Inscription and stuff, but, um, like, the normal game here, Casey's mod, I will do some run on this, but as I said, the modding community is really burning me out, and uh, I, I really get, like, I don't know, not tired, but it, I feel like I solved Inscription itself. Like, this here, the Casey's mod, it really feels like I solved it. It's not like I have found the best thing, okay? I'm pretty sure there are people out there that are playing Inscription a lot more than me and can, like, literally all the time go into uh, challenge mode 27,000, just win all the time, right? But uh, when I'm like, okay, the way you beat the challenge mode is you go, you just pick up the, the this deck and try to win, right? Now, you might say, as a content creator, you should try other things. You should try to experiment with the ants. You should try to experiment with this. You should try to experiment with that. Yeah, uh, guys, I'm doing that off screen sometimes. I'm doing some experiments and most of the time if i see that it's not really going well it's really tiring to try to shoot a video like three or four times and all the time dying at the first boss you know because if i'm gonna die at the first boss i'm obviously not gonna show it uh, not because i don't want to show that i'm i'm losing once in a while i'm literally saying right now to you right now that i am losing sometimes right but uh, it, it's it's tiring because it, it like you have to shoot the footage and then you have to talk and then you have to talk and then you literally have to do the same thing the next time right because if i'm gonna talk about why this is a good idea and what the plan is I'm not gonna say in the next video, yo, guys, uh, I, I did this, I lost, I'm not gonna explain the thing. I have to explain everything from the get-go again. So, I don't know. I, I, I really feel like I'm being, like... <laughs> I hate being negative. I I I hope you guys can hear in my voice that I'm not trying to be negative. Like I, I'm 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 semi positive right now. I'm just trying to explain things that are happening in the background that maybe you guys do not see. 
Uh, obviously, I never ever felt this thing. When I was watching other YouTubers, I never felt what is happening in the background, right? Um, I, I remember hearing like Retromission Waterbot saying that, yo, uh, <laughs> it, it consumes your whole life. When you upload three or four videos per day, it, it takes away every single day, pretty much. You cannot do anything. Like, you cannot go out, you cannot do anything. Because for if you upload three or four videos per day, which I'm not doing, by the way, and you want to go out to do something for a day or two, that means you have to shoot like eight videos the previous day, or you have to shoot six one day, then six the next day, to have the ne the day after that free. So that means those two days that you shot six videos, oh man, those are gone. Especially if one of those videos has something that you don't want to show, or you just bin it, right? Sometimes you just straight up bin a video. It has been times that I, I uploaded, I, I shot an inscription video, like a Casey's mod video, and then literally the same day, a patch dropped, so I was like, well, this footage is trash now, and one and a half hour like down the drain, I, I mean one hour, whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's 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 a bunch of things, but um, yeah, I, I don't want to be negative. I also definitely don't want people to go over there and brigade and stuff. Like I I I really don't care. It's that, that's how I work, man. When I see that people don't like me, I just don't interact with them. I mean, I, I'm pointing it out here, right? I'm pointing it out to all of you. What is gonna be the reason for what might happen in the future, right? But it's not like I'm trying to combat anybody or trying to, like, I don't care. If you disagree with me, I'm gonna drop a heart on your comment and I'm gonna be gone. I literally don't care, man. Uh, you want to say anything about me, I just read it and I pass through it as long as it's not disagreeing with me, right? Because if you disagree with me, I'm gonna disagree with back. Like, we can talk about this. I, I'm, I'm always open for talking about stuff that uh, we disagree on. I love disagreeing with people. Uh, but I don't like when people just straight up don't like me. Because then we cannot go anywhere with that. And uh, the, the, like feeling, like getting the feeling from the modding community that they don't like me because I'm really analytic about anything. Like I see something negative, boom, I'm instantly pointing it out. I don't like something, boom, I'm instantly pointing it out. Uh, obviously, po nobody cares about the positives, right? Uh, obviously, nobody cares about the positives because the positives are a given, right? If you talk about the graphics being awesome and the theme being awesome, that's a given. You, uh, you telling that, it's a given, of course. But when you talk about the card being extremely hard or the bad balance being trash oh oh you're a bad player <laughs> that's what i feel man. that's what i feel like it's, it's happening and um yeah it is what it is i'm pretty sure after this video gets uploaded um it's gonna get reposted or talked about in the modern community if it isn't then honestly honestly it's gonna be extremely lucky for me if they don't talk about this at all yes that's what i want <laughs> that's literally what i want at this point because if you're gonna be negative about me I prefer if you just don't talk about me. Obviously, everybody can talk about whatever he wants, right? Uh, if anything, they can just put up like a whole storm. They, they can... I don't know. I don't want to start the war. Uh, if anything, I want to do the opposite. I want to remove myself from the conflict completely and just leave it run its course. When Alien Shrock or Retromation or Wonder Watts or anybody else that plays cases mod, plays modded inscription, then I guess the modding community will take off without me. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, helps out the channel. Oh, I already said that. Whoops. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for today. The run itself, uh, I didn't talk about the run. I mean, it was just not another run. That's the thing. <laughs> it was just another run. We just built up the cards again, and we won again. At the end of the day, uh, I like the tentacle hand thing. Like, I'm not really using the tentacle hand that often, but um, yeah, there wasn't anything to showcase. Like, uh, obviously, Cuckoo was insane. The the double attacks are always powerful. Like, it's 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 the same. <laughs> it's the same. I don't know what to say. The thing is, I'm not a I'm not a YouTuber that's like full on party mode and hype mode and yeah, let's go and yeah, look at this. Oh, insane damage. Oh, insane car. Oh, insane car. Look at this. Oh, we have a 10 10 oh we have a 20 20 no i'm not that i'm not that i'm sorry but i'm not that and by the fact that i'm not that um that means it snowballs into the fact that just creating broken things without being hyper energetic about it is pretty much always the same content so i i might be shooting myself on the foot by revealing the curtain and just talking about anything and being so meta about this but i'm not sure like if anybody talks about this and um, if anything, I want to always be real. So I'm going to be real. And that's me, man. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about whatever I want to talk about. And I'm pretty sure in about, I don't know, a year, two, three, somebody's going to... Uh, somebody's come, gonna come back to these videos and gonna literally cancel me somehow because some things I say might be controversial or something. <laughs> I guess that's why most of the people just do an outro and be done with it. They don't want to deal with the whole drama and stuff. And there isn't even drama, man. It's just that I'm getting burned out. I don't know. 
Today's video is a bit weird. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for the day. So, once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.